Hey howdy bunches, before you watch this vlog, um, essentially the crux of it is, and then my exciting news is that I finished another cookbook, this is my third cookbook and it's now on Etsy, um, I will explain more about it in the video, which is a vlog of me just finishing it up, picking it up from the printers, getting excited and doing some other things in my life, but it's 40 plus, I think there's about 44 recipes that are super straightforward, hence the title, um, and yeah, they're very easy, only require, you know, mixing, dumping ingredients, stirring, whisking, pouring, smoothing, um, chopping, nothing very complicated, but as usual, incredibly delicious, I think, nostalgic -y, wholesome, comforting, nourishing grub is the end result. Every recipe is vegan, and every recipe is written with the gluten-free needed person in mind, because I am, but you can just cook it the way you want, you know, easy swaps, plain flour, gluten-free plain flour, gluten-free spaghetti, or just regular, that sort of thing. It's A5 and about this thick, which makes it light to print, I know it shrinks down to not very much, but you can buy it in hard copy or digital form, it's on my Etsy, link in the description box, digital copy is a PDF you download um, as soon as you pay for it, and hard copy I will ship to you, and I can do it worldwide. But on with the video. Lunches, Phoebe again. Uh, it is Wednesday evening. Tomorrow is my day of work experience. A little nervy, but doing all right. Um, well, that's what I do. <laughs> a really good parcel came in the mail today. I ordered um, two pairs of underpants and a singlet from Thunderpants. I think I see it New Zealand company, but they make like ethical to a tee. They're not cheap, but they are so thick and so durable looking. They're a bit quirky. And I didn't think the fluoro colours were gonna, not fluoro, but the brightness of the colours were gonna be me, but actually, oh, loving it. I went for like the high tops version, the hipster. Um, there's some koi fish. And then in this set, which is really me, it would be super me if this was not bright yellow and said it was purple, but that's fine. <laughs> and I got a singlet too. And boy, do I feel groovy in this number. The sizing's a bit funny, like it's really perfect here, but it does like splay out. So people who have a, you know, different shape around the middle, it doesn't like suffocate you. But for me, it is the right size, but um, as you can see, like the difference in waist is evident. I would really recommend that brand. I've, a few of my friends and I have been wondering like what to do about intimates and underpants in the ethical department because they're really expensive when you need to purchase some new ones. Um, in the past I have just gone, I can't afford <laughs> um, ethical, sustainable, like cotton ones mostly, so I have just gone like the fast fashion-ish route, but I'm trying to invest and with some birthday money make the sustainable option happen. Oh, in another funny thing, we got a new television because our old one was literally like 10 years old or something and we're not people to replace tech very often um but the picture was literally you couldn't see half of it and it's so big and it's a smart tv which is like what a novelty <laughs> um and it's so hd and it's making me realize because i know some of you watch youtube on there on not on there but on your own like smart tvs and so my face is literally the size of my torso in HD <laughs> um, quality and that's really unnerving. I have not summed up the coverage to test how my channel looks on a big screen but I probably should because I'm not in the know about that. <laughs> Some of you when you like post to Instagram that you're watching me, I've gone like 
whoa, had a little freak out because <laughs> my face gets really big. Um, and then if the lighting's not quite natural, which it often isn't when I've got my lamp on, it's like super yellow or super red, <laughs> like a balloon or a tomato or representing or looking like a mango. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually the only one home at the moment, so I could test that out. <laughs> My brother was gonna like do it as a tease. I'm like, just stop. I'm serious. Like, no. <laughs> but that's all for now, honey bunches. This will be the vlog where I pick up the cookbooks, cookbooks and tell you the cookbook is out. So it's out when this is out, but in my time, it's not out yet. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Fingers crossed all goes well. Ah, it's like 20 past eight and I mean to have a shower. So I'm gonna wrap this up quick, but I'm just having a dress rehearsal. <laughs> No, I'm just having a final thinking about my outfit for tomorrow and this this bag it just looks like a lot of dots going on especially with the, the sock situation so I think actually this new over the shoulder bag makes most sense like I just need to bring my lunch and water bottle and stuff my mum will probably diss it because she'll be like it looks like a bum bag and it looks like tracksuit um, material but I think it looks kind of cute. But I'm happy with this outfit and thank you for the gentle supportive guidance on the previous video as to what I should wear. Hey honey bunches, I went on a work experience day today and it went so well. It was just a really good day and it was exactly what I needed because I had had a bunch of career-y, socialize-y things. They weren't even that, but in my head that's what they were. And I was a non-confident, resembling a tomato because I was blushing so much, um, stuttery person. But this time, I just felt really good in myself and I really got on with the people there and it was just such a wholesome confidence boosting really insightful experience. I don't know if it will turn into longer work experience but for what I needed from it it was um more like intrapersonally confidence wise in myself it delivered and I felt useful and I felt like I contributed and it just felt really great. <laughs> Um, also, I was super happy with the outfit I wear, wore, but the tight bra, the belt, um, has given me and my digestion a bit of a, oh, so I feel, I'm incredibly bloated and feel quite like my stomach's in a, but that's okay. The cookbooks are ready, so I'll be picking them up tomorrow and getting all those Etsy listings sorted for bringing them out on the weekend. Yay, I did it. Today was good. And super interesting and just made me realize that like all the skills I use for YouTube like are actually pretty important in realms and they count for something and what I build up in my head to be like this world of work and adult stuff is um it's accessible no it's approachable no I can't think of the right word um it's doable we'll go with that um yeah but I'm exhausted <laughs>
I just got back from a really big morning honey bunches, although it's now three o'clock. Uh, picked up the dress, picked up the cookbooks, and then also prompt, impromptuly went to a craft stall that we knew old ladies who had made things for, and an op shop, which I got quite a lot of purple clothes, so let me show you all of them. Then two other things I got honey bunches um, were two little aprons, they're just waist aprons um, and really HBOT, well me colours. That one and that one, um, they were super cheap so what I might do, I need a wash, but I'm going to embroider honey bunch of onion tops um, on them and add them to my HBOT shop as a different merch type option because they're really cute. And now for the thing we've all been wondering and waiting for. The cookbooks. I have a heck of a lot here in three different boxes. The photographs look really great. And so yes, when this vlog goes live, they will be ready, but I will tell you some more deets in a sec. It's a strawberry in the shape of an eggplant or aubergine. So what is it? It's a strawbergine. Oh! Hey honey bunches, it's Saturday. I have been doing all the Etsy listings which take a while. My gosh, they're pretty done dusted and I want to wrap up this vid to edit it to be able to say they're available. 
there being the cookbook and some extra things my mum has sewed um, and we think they are in the Honey Bunch realm on brand, quite cute, so I will show you then. So FYI, my mum made these and they are without fault, <laughs> technically wise. Um, they're made with incredible attention to detail out of vintage fabrics. So there are two drawstring bags. This one has like a Japanese-y um, bit incorporated with reds and purples and they're both lined with a lavender cotton. And they're drawstring, they don't have straps on them but you could use them as like a gift wrapping bag or a Christmas sack or like keeping your craft supplies in them if you like knitting a scarf or something. I really like this one too because of the really nice embroidered flowers incorporated into it. Then in this fabric, which might look pretty familiar because I have one of these bags my mum made me. She made another one because she had quite a bit of this fabric. Um, this is a tote bag. It's got a black on white polka dot situation going on. Um, um, the crochet flowers are on one side so this side can sit flat against your body. And then out, out of the same fabric is a apron. It has a pocket. It's not double sided on the back but the straps are very securely attached. So all of them will be on it. Along with my cookbook in digital and hard copy form, let me show you some of my favourite recipes before I wrap this video up. I'm a huge, huge fan of this artichoke, what they call it, butter bean kale and lemon dip. Delicious. This broccoli soup with mac and cheese dumped in the middle. A vegan version of like a healing chicken noodle soup with tofu and chickpeas and other veg. A ratatouille gnocchi bake. Heaven. The Ambala is a weeknight staple you should definitely have in your recipe toolkit, I think. The Rosti Spinach case you've seen me go on about in a couple of vlogs. I made some other lentil meatballs which ugh, just perfected how to do that and they're scrumptious. These are heaven and I need to make them again ASAP. They're um, zucchini parcels, you bake them with tofu that's got herbiness and basilness and a lot of herbs but deliciousness going on inside them. They're incredibly easy to make too. For those of you who always ask about the nacho recipe, with permission from the people who that belongs to, I've tweaked it and included it in here. There's a chicken katsu curry. Yum. These rice paper samosas are heaven. And great for lunch boxes or whatever. There's a lemon and thyme cake, which is really lovely and delicate yet bold. Textures on point. Black forest cheesecakes. I don't want to show all the delicious ones, but there's some other cakes in there that are fabulous for vegan, for vegan, for gluten free or just regular. Yeah, and there's others. There's pics on my Etsy, there's more pics on the digital listing than the hard copy. Uh, and if you want to buy a couple of my cookbooks together, there are listings, um, both digital and hard copy, for each of the possible combinations of cookbooks that I now have. So, yeah, I did honey bunches. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I would be so thrilled to send you a cookbook if you would like to purchase one. And I hope you're doing super well. I'm looking forward to sharing some recipes I have that didn't make it into the cookbook. Because I just thought I had to wrap this up and put it together. Um, I'm excited to do some more videos, get back in the consistency of that. Yeah. Okay. Bye.